Hello guys, today we'll be going over the Parrot Rolling Spider and what is included in your kit. When it first arrives, you will be getting a box that includes the Parrot Rolling Spider. There will be a little safety seal that you will have to break to open it up. Inside will be the drone. Included is the drone itself, a battery, a charging cable, it's a USB port that plugs into your laptop or computer. You will also get some stickers that you can put on your drone. And a manual. Also included are two wheels and an axle. The two wheels connect to the axle and the axle connects to the drone. This ensures that when flying indoors it will not damage itself by hitting any objects or hitting the ground. There are many additional parts that you may also buy in case they break or an extra battery. This is a close-up of what the drone looks like. Right now the battery is not inside of it and it is turned off. The battery goes in through the back And the on off switch is that little tab right there. The little chrome circle device. That is an altitude sensor. And then the black dot above it is lens for the camera. With the LiPo rechargeable battery you insert it with the prongs facing the bottom and the little inserts facing the top. It'll go in and then click. Two triangle pieces will line up at the top. The lights will then turn on. And then the lights will turn green when in standby mode. In standby mode you may open up the app known as the Free Flight 3 app. You can download this from the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. Make sure your Bluetooth is on before you open it. It will automatically connect to your drone when it is turned on on a level surface. It only takes a few seconds. From here, you can hit the free flight mode. It takes a couple seconds to load up. And then from here, you can start your flight. Before you start your first flight, make sure the battery is fully charged. Before you start, hit this button in the upper left corner this button calibrates it. The second button is your settings button. From here you can go to your pilot settings such as your maximum altitude and your max inclination. You can also switch your joypad inverted or not. You can swipe to the side and choose your three piloting settings ace, normal, or joypad. From then on, you can go to your max vertical speed, whether you have wheels, and the emergency cutout. If you hit, if you crash, the engines will turn off. And then your max rotation speed. You can also change the name. And then this shows the current software update. On the right side of the screen, at the bottom, you will notice your battery percentage. This is the battery percentage of the drone. This button up here in the middle are your flip options. You can choose a front flip, back flip, and so on and so forth. During flight, you double tap the screen and your drone will perform a back flip or front flip or whichever flip you chose. This button over here is your free takeoff. Once you enable it, this will allow your drone to take off just by 
throwing it rather than setting it on the ground. At which point, you can hit the land button at the bottom, and the drone will land. Another option that you see is the camera button. This allows the underside camera, shown by the black dot, there's a tiny lens in there that takes pictures from the bottom every time you press the button. It stores the picture inside the drone, in which you can transfer from your phone, or from the drone to your phone, to the phone's gallery. Or you can plug it into your computer and download the pictures manually. Next you will see the joystick controls. This is to go up, this is to go down. This is to rotate clockwise, rotate counterclockwise. Press this button down, and then tilt your phone forward to go forward, back to go back, right, left. These are all the options in the normal mode. We're going to explore the other piloting settings. Press the settings button, and then swipe to the right once. We're going to go to the joypad setting. All of the previous functions that are mentioned are already here, plus more. Now your phone's camera is enabled. Hit the back button. The left side joystick controls are the same as I mentioned before. The right side is a little different. Instead of using your phone's accelerometer, the buttons now act true. If you hit the forward button, the drone will go forward backwards, to the side on the left, and to the side to the right. You will notice there is now a record option. Press the red button to start recording from your phone's camera. This allows you to record your drone while it is flying. You will now notice that the wheels are now attached to the drone. They are connected through a single axle through the middle with a wheel attached on the right and left sides, and then attached in the center to the drone. As mentioned before, the wheels allow the drone to be protected from objects during flight indoors. The wheels also allow the drone to move forward, backwards, left, right, up the walls, and on the ceiling. We're now going to go to the settings. Let's swipe to the right. Notice we are on ace mode, which allows different controls. And for use of the wheels, make sure the wheels button is selected. This will allow the use of the wheels. You may return to the screen. You also notice at the top there is an emergency button. In case the drone is ever stuck hitting the ceiling, you may press the emergency button. This will cut off all the engines. You will notice that with the wheels option selected, the bottom left corner of your screen will represent that. When the wheels are unselected, it will show the drone itself without the wheels on the side. In ace mode, we do have different flight settings, such as 180 degree turns and 90 degree left and right turns. This is it for the tutorial with the app and the software. We will now show you a demonstration of the product in action and some images at the end that we captured through the camera.